And what is up, everybody? This is Shane, the Rising Grind Picker. And today I'm going to throw a video at you to teach you how to, my secrets on how to make a white background on your eBay or Macari or any item, whatever that you're going to sell online. So I'm going to teach you a couple different ways, okay? I'm going to teach you on a dark item and a light item. Those are very important, and I mean the color of the item. Those are very, very important because there's two different tricks to actually use to make a white background on those items. Although some of it's photography, some of it is trickery and magic from <laughs> apps and stuff like that to make the white to make the background disappear. So, anyways, stay tuned. And for those of you that don't know who I am, um, I call myself the Rising Grand Picker and I sell on eBay, Amazon, Macari. I have a Poshmark account and I don't use it because I don't like Poshmark. And also, I sell things that I find like treasures from estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, rummage sales, and auctions. As well as sourcing on, <laughs> on <laughs> selling apps online like Lego, OfferUp, and Facebook Marketplace. So anyways, we are going to hit this video and I was looking back at my background. I'm going to explain some of the equipment I use in this video. And here's what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to put links down below the video on the items I use to make my white background. They are affiliate links, okay? I'm going to throw that out there. They are completely going to be affiliate links. So if you purchase them, it's going to make me money and in turn making me money, you're going to support my channel and you're going to put me a little money in my pocket to actually make it better and to buy better cameras and stuff like that to give you premium content. So anyways, stay tuned and let's get this rolling. All right. So here is what we got. So for smaller items, I use poster board and this is pure white poster board. It is pretty thick in diameter. So you can see here, and for bigger items, I have this it kind of looks like a shower curtain, but it is not a shower curtain. So if you look very, very closely on here, it has fabric that's intertwined and you see some dirt or some hair, but it has fabric that's intertwined in this and it's made by newer N E W E E R. And what it is, it is a photo. Um, it is like a, a photo backdrop, but it's vinyl and it has some kind of a mesh that is actually in the vinyl and it makes the the light absorb the the actual it makes this absorbs the light and the more light it absorbs the wider the background you're going to get so i also have some soft boxes here um, this is a four bulb soft box another four bulb soft box and then a one and a one and i actually use let me shut my lights off real quick on um, maybe uh, pop. Okay, so I actually use um, on this on this actual light bulb is these are a Walmart great value light bulbs. They're LEDs and they're seventeen hundred lumens, and they are a daylight. Um, they are not like the white brights or nothing like that. They're a daylight. That's what you want. They're seventeen hundred lumens. They're LED and they're five thousand K. And if you don't know what 5000K in, K is, 5000K is the Kelvin scale, which, oh man, now my lights will not turn back on for some crazy reason. Um, it is the Kelvin scale, which measures your, what is going on now? You got like some bulbs that are dead now for some reason. Give me a second here. They're really hot. I think I might have to let them cool off for a minute, but I'm going to let them cool off for a second. But 5000K is actually the Kelvin scale, which is uh, basically um, it, the more, the higher the number on the Kelvin scale, the brighter and more clear the picture will be. So it, I think they make them all the way up to like 7000K. And that is like the color, like the, the, the color, heat or temperature of your light bulb. So, this is what I use. Also, my camera is a Sony A6000, and it is a mirrorless camera. It is pretty awesome. 
and I'm going to show you how to take pictures and whatnot with it. But that being said, um, this camera retails at $600, around five to $600. I bought it used off eBay for 200. So let's get listing and I will show you how I do this. Boom. All right, so here's a little bit on my camera. So I have, I shoot on manual mode, which is the M on the camera, which means manual. And then I actually, basically what I do is I set up all the settings on this before I shoot. So that means that I, I did watch a YouTube video on how to set up all the settings, but then I started learning more about photography and now I kind of tailor it to my liking. All right, so that is my camera. Uh, this is like an anti, like a flare uh, lens where it kind of reduces a little bit of shadowing and stuff. And that's how I have my camera actually set up. And now I'm going to go into how to take the photos. All right, so what I do before I shoot is I have these cards and they actually help me set my white balance on my camera. I believe these are also made by Newer, and I will put, like I said, all the stuff I'm using, and an affiliate link will be down in the down in the description of the. Oh, I'm recording on my I'm recording on my camera. The description will be down in the uh, description below. Okay, so here's what I do. All right, so what you want to do is you can actually set your your own white balance. Give me a second here. And you just gotta find the, the, the set the white balance setting in the the actual camera. Which takes me a little bit because I I haven't done it in a long time, so it takes me a little while to find it. <sighs> So I'm trying to find this setting thing on here. I think it's in the settings FN. Give me a second. It has something where you just like literally set it and you take a picture. Okay, so you go to white balance and you go to set. All right. Now you want to hold this, it's fairly far away, but you want to kind of zoom the lens in and you want to hit this gray spot in the lighting just like this, just like this. And you take a picture of it and you enter it in and then it sets your white balance. That is very crucial when taking uh, pictures for eBay and e-commerce stuff. All right, so I'm just setting the color on my camera I'm going to film on. And so now I'm going to take some pictures with my camera that has been synced to my white balance. Uh, so let's take some photos. Now on clothing, what I do is I do some flat lays and I do a mannequin shot. So I'm going to do my flat lays right now. And I'm going to make sure that, so this right here is how I can brighten and darken the picture. And it's just a little button on A6000 that's right here and it adjusts manually how the picture looks. So I'm gonna adjust that and then I'm gonna start shooting. I do like four shots, front, front, back, back, and flat lays. My uh, background's a little messed up because I've been uh, picturing hard goods and yeah, it's a little messed up. Like I said, this background will capture a lot of your of your light and it'll sink in when, when you're taking photos. I'm gonna get the tag. And I try not to bend over in my light. I try to zoom it in instead of bending over because you're gonna get a better picture quality like that. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna do another flat lay on the back so I do you know I, I segment the shirt 
in the two portions, top and, 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 and actually bottom. So that way it's a close up shot at each quadrant for flaws. This is an Oakley t-shirt, so I think it'll sell pretty decent. Oakley stuff usually does pretty good for me. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my mannequin shots and I usually do just like one front, one back. Okay. And here we go. And I'm gonna lighten this photo up just a smidge, all right? I'm gonna make sure the shirt's actually square on the mannequin. Now I'm gonna take a good pick from the back on the mannequin. All right, so now we got our photos. So now it's time to actually list the item and I'm going to show you the top secret, the big secret on, I actually have gotten a lot of questions on this on YouTube videos. Several people asked me, Shane, how do you get your background so nice? How do you get them awesome? Like it, this doesn't look like it's a good setup, but trust me it is. And I'm going to show you why. Okay. So let's go take a look. All right, so how I'm going to do this is um, this is the way that I'm going to show you how I get my white backgrounds. That is the magic way. And this is how I eliminate the background completely on my phone. Let's get started. So I'm going to go over to my apps and I'm going to go to this little one that says eraser. And I'm going to click it and I'm going to load up a photo. And so this is the shirt that we took a picture of. Now this is the photo without no editing at all. I mean, it's a nice clean photo, but on every item, I try my best to do this on every item for the first picture, just to catch the, the buyer's attention, all right? So I'm gonna crop that and that's okay. I'm gonna go to auto right here. I'm gonna go to auto and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over all the way here. I'm going to change this to a darker color and I'm going to turn sensitivity up a little bit and then I'm going to eliminate the background just like this. And you always got to trim a little just like this. Like you have to trim here and there some of the white away because it will stay and I'll show you a little trick on how to get rid of that with this app. But I just do this. Usually it's a lot quicker um, on items that are white. You cannot do this with a white background with this app. So what I do is I have a black background and if I have a really light colored item like a cream or even a, even a lighter colored item you can't do it with. And so I have a black background and I'll throw a black background up and I'll take my pictures and I can erase the background on it because the background's black. So what this app does is it takes the background and whatever, like, the background is similar, like, all over, right? So it basically notices, this app notices that. See how I, I did the shirt? The app notices the color of the background. And then you can adjust the sensitivity to eliminate the background. And it targets that particular shade or that color or whatever you call it. See how this kind of flared up a little bit? I'm gonna I'm just gonna kind of eliminate this now I would say this is good and I'm gonna show you why so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hit done and this these numbers down here are gonna help you and it's gonna trim the the, the item for you it's gonna smooth it out and once it's smooth now I'm doing it a lot slower to show you all but usually this doesn't take me this long it's it's super quick and so I basically, uh, I, I trimmed it down or didn't trim it down, but I, I softened the edges on it and now I'm going to hit finish. Now why I hit finish is because then you got to go over to this JPEG and these apps, uh, go hand in hand. Like they, they go together. You just got to download them separately and you hit load photo and you select this app and you save as JPEG and replaces it with a bright white background. 
So that's how you do that. Now I'm going to show you the other way. Once I build a listing, you just got to give me a second and I'll show you. All right, so now I'm on eBay on a listing and here is my photo. And a lot of resellers, a lot of people, you hear them say, you can't use stock photos on eBay. This is illegal. It's not a stock photo. I made it myself. The background is simply missing. Everything else is exact. And this is what I did. This is the background I did on my phone. Okay, this right here. It is freaking phenomenal. But I only do that with the first picture. And it takes me 20 seconds, if not 10 seconds. And then what I do is everything else, I just leave it like it is. So I'm going to move this up. And I'm going to show you one other way to do it. Um, if you don't want to do what I do, I'm going to show you one other way to do it. So what you can do, this is the exact photo side by side. So take a look at it. This is a photo of how I done it after I set my white balance and it's still good. I could have made it better, but I made the photo a little darker so I could remove the background. If I wanted to make it actually fairly light, um, I could have actually made it look a lot whiter than that in the background. But this is a photo that I took uh, normal and this is the photo I took with no background and it looks amazing but then when they see the first photo they're already sucked in and they think the shirt looks amazing and then you're going to go to this photo now if you want to edit your pics without removing the background you go down to this little little sun thing right here and here's what i like to do um you just move the bottom to make the color fade out and you're not actually making the color brighter but you see how like you're getting this feathering up here. You can actually take the bottom and make the feathering completely disappear. And then you lighten, you actually lighten the photo up. And when you save it, I'm going to save it. And then this is the photo I edited on eBay. So this is the photo I edited on eBay. This is the photo I edited on my phone. The color is a little different, but that's because this was brightened up and this was actually shot a little dark. But the color is about the same. That's what I'm saying is this, this just looks, you know, a little overexposed, but this is, is accurate. And really, honestly, my, all my other picks are going to be like this and it's going to show the true color. So I'm not really not showing the true color. And like this, the background's just removed. This is the true color of the shirt. Like literally this, and I don't know if you can see the color because it's in a baggie now, but this is like the closest to the true color you could probably get. Clothing is tricky. Selling clothing on eBay is very, very tricky. And you have to really, really know what you're doing. And then also, like I said, if I wanted this photo, right, I could have actually lightened it up on my camera and made the background disappear just like I did here on eBay with a photo. Now that background has completely disappeared. The shirt looks a little lighter, but I could have actually done that on my camera. I just prefer, so why I do this is I prefer to shoot the photo a little dark, just like this. And this is like pretty much the truest color. And I shoot it a little dark and then I remove the background. So it's a very accurate depiction of the shirt. And you now I would say this shirt's like brown, probably, but it's like a Heather style brown, which if you don't know what that is, um, it's like multiple colors and you know, in one, but anyways, that's how I do it. And this is, this is some of the equipment I use. I mean, I, I do other little tricks and stuff, but it's nothing I can show you in one 15, 20 minute video. This takes time to research and stuff like that. So give me one second and I'm going to put the camera on me. All right. I'm back once again. And I'm telling you, so this video I did for you guys. Okay. This shows you how I do it. And there's a lot of tips and tricks involved, but also I can take my camera and I can, I can take this camera and I can shoot a picture and make it look really good with a low, with a very bright white background. I just choose not to, a lot of the times, I don't want to overexpose the, the item. 
So what I do is that's why I do that first picture with just a normal, not very overexposed, just a little bit, like I adjust the picture just a little bit to make it fairly, um, a little brighter, but I leave it to where it's right and underexposed. Um, and I've done that a lot because I've had a lot of practice. And I know how to overexpose it a little bit to make it look okay. And I know how to underexpose it a little bit to make it look good to where you can remove the background. Because realistically, the app I showed you with the background, if you remove the background and you overexpose the picture, it, you won't be able to remove the background. It'll blend in with some of the photo and the picture of the shirt and stuff will actually come off. So you have to be very careful when you're actually shooting video or not video, <laughs> shooting a picture to not overexpose it if you're going to remove the background. Um, that's just, that's super, super important. Now, another way that, and I don't use this, eventually I will one day, but another way that you can actually do the white backgrounds without, without doing anything on your phone or doing anything on eBay with a picture is you can just take the photo and move on, but they make backlight kits. So you can actually get a very white background um a background background sheet and you can actually there's a light that they make that you can put behind the sheet and it blows the white out to make it look perfectly white and those setups are very very expensive eventually one day i'll have one because doing this isn't really that fun it takes some a little bit of extra time here and there but this is how i do it and I can tell you right now, I can take photos without removing the background and make them look awesome. But I'm very used to removing the background on my first picture. I mean, if you look at the pictures I showed you, they're not bad pictures. They're just a little bit underexposed, like not underexposed, but they're just a little bit, I would say, I didn't brighten them up. I just left them the normal color. And you can brighten them up and it won't brighten the item up too much. But that's how I do it. And all the stuff I use, like this background, the vinyl background thing is awesome. And you can actually make a background look super, super, super white with it. And it's just all about your lighting. For pictures and your white backgrounds, it is all about the lighting. Nothing else matters. Like the, the you know, now I do, I, I will not say, okay, I want to retract that a little bit. Most of not anything else matters. I've seen like light kits that are umbrellas and they don't get good exposure for me i don't like them i do like the soft boxes better but this is how i do it don't forget to like and subscribe to this video i'm almost at a thousand subs so subscribe to me and hit the bell notifications to get those notifications but subscribe to me and help me reach a thousand so i can finally get a thousand subs thank you all for your support thanks for subscribing to me i appreciate you guys following me on a daily basis you always comment a lot and give me lots of likes and watch my videos when I put them out. So have a great day.